You know the rating system run by the Moving Picture Association of America, or MPAA. The G, PG, PG-13, R, and NC-17 classifications market it as your guide to what you should show your kids. But before you take those ratings too seriously, here are a few things you may want to know about the group behind it. The MPAA is a trade association representing the five major film studios and Netflix. It's been around since 1922. And while its primary work revolves around lobbying on behalf of the industry, including in favor of wildly unpopular proposals such as the Trans-Pacific Partnership and the SOPA and PIPA bills, it's been involved in censoring films nearly since their beginning. Until 1965, they rigidly enforced what was known as Hayes Code, which dictated that no picture shall be produced that will lower the moral standards of those who see it. What did that mean? Excessive and lustful kissing was restricted, but not all the antiquated rules were so laughable. Portrayals of, quote, miscegenation were forbidden, meaning the sexual or romantic mixing of different racial groups, as were references to homosexuality and the ridicule of religion. In 1968, Hayes Code was replaced with the rating system we know today, with the X rating, now known as NC-17, included. If a film gets an NC-17 rating, most theaters won't screen it and it can't be widely advertised. An NC-17 rating is considered the financial death of a film. The 2006 documentary, This Film Is Not Yet Rated, includes numerous examples of the MPAA using the NC-17 rating to censor content found distasteful by those in positions of power, and to help the studios protect themselves by harming their independent competition. Matt Stone explains that when his independent film Orgasmo received an NC-17, the MPAA refused to explain its reasoning, making it impossible to know what changes were needed to get an R rating. But when his movie South Park Bigger, Longer, and Uncut, produced by MPAA member Paramount Pictures, received an NC-17, the ratings board told them exactly the changes needed to receive an R. Even if the ratings truly were about protecting children, they do an awful job at it. The 2011 independently produced documentary Bully follows children as young as 11 being bullied. The director intended it to be shown to middle and high schoolers to help prevent bullying, yet it received an R rating, signaling to parents their children shouldn't see it. The MPAA may be of help to the film industry's major players, but for all the rest of us, they're probably best ignored. I'm Jake Klein. If you liked this video, please subscribe to our channel, help us share it, and read the full article on our website. Thanks for watching.